7 News always investigating, and tonight looking into how this rundown home has been allowed to sit in this Denver neighborhood for more than three years. Neighbors say they've complained, but little's been done to fix the problem. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is live from Quint Street. And Molly, the city says there's really not much more it can do. Which is really hard to believe. You can see the city's posted numerous violations on the door here to no avail. Now, the problem is they know who the homeowner is. They just don't know where she is or if she's even still alive. The middle of Quinn Street. Ugly. Bears the frustration. Looks awful. Okay. I hate it. Of neighbors. You got a nice house on either side, but what's the deal with this one in the middle? This is what they've been forced to look at. Boarded up windows, overgrown weeds, a property that sat vacant and neglected since the homeowner disappeared more than three years ago. We haven't been able to find her or any of her relatives. Um, at this point, we don't know where she is. And that's the problem, says Andrea Burns of Denver's Community Planning and Development. The city has posted numerous fines and cleaned up weeds, but until they find the homeowner, they say their hands are tied. But at this point, we don't have the ability to take ownership of the property or do any kind of demolition or repairs. Obviously, something needs to change so that somebody has the power to take over these properties. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, uh, that's a question for me to answer. Um, I do think that there have been um, some really productive discussions with City Council about what we do next and um, proposing some changes to the ordinance as part of that. Not good enough, says neighbors who are tired of waiting on their view to change. If you have no contact information, if she's like dead or she's gone, no like family inform you know, information, you know, there's got to be some way to speed it up. Now the city tells me it is looking at updating its vacant and derelict building ordinance, which would give them more power in neg neglect cases. Unfortunately, it would only help in cases where the homeowner isn't being compliant, not in cases like this where they simply can't find the homeowner. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.